What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rottweilers, and today we're actually going to be taking our girl Unique Vonder Oberstein to her retirement home. When you subscribe to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that bell to turn all post notifications on to be notified when we do drop our videos. So today is the big day that Unique Vonder Oberstein goes to her retirement home. She can live the rest of her life uh, dog free, <laughs> no more nuisances. Um, one thing that we did learn about her while she was here is that uh, is that she can be dog aggressive. As you guys already know, she had gotten into altercation with our female, our old female, um, Lexi Von Scotier. Um, and she actually ended up getting into a little scuffle with my uh, with our male Simba. I don't know why she decided to go outside and nip on him, but <laughs> she decided to do that two days before, well, three days before she actually was going home to her new place. So we're actually headed to the vet right now just to get uh, those wounds uh, checked on and cleaned up. That way, you know, the new owner uh, won't have to worry about any of that type of stuff. You guys know we try to take the best care of our dogs here, make sure that they're health, happy and healthy for their gestation here. Um, so that is why we didn't have the huge going away uh, video that I typically like to do. You know, I actually bought her a puppy cake. She enjoyed that by herself. But like I said, you know, she <clears throat> obviously she didn't win that that uh, that fight. So didn't want to have her on the video. But now she's doing better, obviously, three days later. Um, so I'll show you guys her now. But yeah, I will tap back in once we make it to the vet. So we made it to the vet. This is our girl, Unique. Seems like the only time to take my dogs to the vet is for bad things. So, and this girl right here, she does get car sick. Um, so they always act like this when they come to the vet. It's never a happy visit, <laughs> unfortunately. But the doc is about to come in. So we'll tap in once we get up out of here. All right, so we just left the vet, but we got a slight change of plans because I was in such a rush uh, leaving this morning. I actually got to backtrack now and go home because I forgot all of her paperwork, um, all of her show titles and stuff like that. Forgot all of that at home. So now I got to head back home because for me, I'm really big on giving you everything um, at day that you actually pick up your puppy or day of purchase. So that way you don't have to be waiting around for paperwork um, and stuff like that. Only way that you're going to have to wait for paperwork for me is if it is an import litter. And I'm not sure if you guys know about it, but you can take, you know, two to three months uh, or more to get all that paperwork back because it goes through two different, um, it goes through two different uh, registration places. So one would be FCI if I did import a dog. So FCI has to do all their paperwork. And then from there, they send it to me. Then I can transfer it from AKC to, uh, to AKC. And then with AKC, you have to wait for their processing and stuff like that. But for the most part, you guys purchase from me get anything from me everything's going to be done uh the day of that you guys pick up that puppy will transfer right away right then and there all righty we successfully made it back home picked up the uh picked up all her paperwork everything that we needed and we are now about two minutes away from uh her new home with uh my good buddy brian with the uh, arizona working wattweiler club for her retirement home i'm super excited for her happy for her to be able to as i said before to run free run wild uh, you know, live the rest of her life out the way she should be able to and not have to worry about, you know, going to another kennel and, and they're trying to overbreed her or do anything crazy. So I'm happy, excited for her. But yeah, we're about to be here in a second. I'll introduce you guys to Brian, president of Arizona Water Working Rottweiler Club. Let's get to it. Good afternoon. My name is Brian Rushing. I'm the president of Arizona Working Rottweiler Club. I'm also the owner of Von Rushing House Rottweilers. I have been in the Rottweilers training, owning, breeding, knowing, studying for 45 years. I have never, but one time in my life, purchased a dog from a man of color. This is the first time in my life that I have purchased two dogs that a man of color has gotten for me. And that, that breeder is Proctor House Rottweiler. That young man got me an adult dog that I'm gonna take now to a pet owner that's been buying Rottweilers for me for 25 years and we're gonna retire her there. Also, the young man got me a puppy, a puppy off of TK's Bad Boy. The difference in 
me getting the puppy and the other people that's getting puppies, if they put them in the show ring and I put them in the training and the workforce. So what I'm saying to you is, it's time for us to start spending our money with each other in our country with our good dogs and then you'll see a difference for support, help, see your dog develop, see your breeder help you. So I'll give Proctor House Rottweiler a thumbs up. I appreciate that, man. You guys Truly have a do. good day. Thank you. And there it is, as you guys seen, Brian Russian, president of Arizona Working Rottweiler Club. You guys are in Arizona and need some training or you guys are looking to get your dog into uh, in any working or show, um, Brian Russian is a guy to reach out to. I will put his Facebook um, somewhere in the video right here, somewhere in this area. But yeah, I'm super excited for her. Like I've said probably three, four times in this video alone, man. I'm happy that she's, you know, going to a, a good home and, and a home with somebody who's been around Rottweilers for a long time, a lot longer than I've been living for sure. I'm still in my 20s, so um, I'm definitely excited and happy that I was able to find and uh, find her and help Brian out with a new nice dog and also, you know, help her out, you know, going to a good, great home. We are on our way home. I will be do giving you guys a pup update uh, as soon as I make it back home. I am in Sherland, Arizona. As you guys know, I live in Buckeye, Arizona. So we got a little bit over an hour uh, until we make it to the house, but I will tap back in once we get there. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on our female, uh, Xena. She's off of Marshall and Candy Rocco Roller. I actually decided to go ahead and rehome her. She's actually, uh, as of right now, she is sold. She will be going to uh, Dallas, Texas. They should be picking her up um, sometime around Memorial Day weekend. She's a super female, top pedigree. Look at that big head, big bone, big structure. All around nice foundational female. I only decided to get rid of her for the simple fact that uh, I want to have some space for my own productions here. You know, I got a litter coming from, uh, obviously, my female Petra. Then I got another top litter coming from another top female. Uh, I will be announcing that, you know, in the next couple weeks about that breeding. So you guys can get in early on that for everybody who missed out on this uh, Princess and iPods litter. But you guys can see she is a top female, and I'm happy that she is going to another uh, breeding type home. So she still will be producing. Hopefully me and that guy can come to something. He's thinking about using Simba on uh, Xena, which I think would be an awesome pairing. Um, going off the of pedigree, quality of both dogs. I know exactly what, you know, these guys are, are what they are great at and what they're actually lacking. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect dog, so if anybody tell you that, don't ever believe them. Um, but yeah, so let's go in the house, give you guys a quick pup update since the, the puppy is four weeks old now. So here goes our puppy Achilles Von Proctor house. He's all the way deep in this uh, mush that we got cooked up for him. You guys can see, he's still, still got that nice big block head type. Excellent little puppy. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we love him here. My son plays with, plays with this pup the most. Look at him. <laughs> there we go. Good. Let's see if we can get it clear for him. There we go. You see that head type is perfect. Markings are excellent. And I like how he's very active. There he goes nibbling on stuff with his little, little teeth he got going. Let me go ahead and pull him out of here so you guys can get a better look at him. Just wanted to show you guys him moving around. <clears throat> What's up, buddy? This is always the fun stage for me at this age. This is when they actually start acting like uh, like dogs and actually wanting to play with you. Yeah, you hear that? I like that. Yeah, I love playing with this puppy. Good boy. So here goes our pup right here. Sorry, it looks like I'm creeping back here, but uh, just wanted to hide behind the puppy so that way it doesn't pick up my face. So it doesn't try to zoom in on me. But as you guys can see, puppy is still growing nicely. Big old boy, big block head, excellent markings. 
he's been killing that mush so he's been growing rapidly um there you go big old yawn for you guys love this pup to death man i'm super excited for the new owner um he will be getting them in another four weeks since today marks week four of uh him being born probably put you guys over there in the whelping box area so you can actually watch this puppy play but yeah this is what you expect you know as you guys know we only keep our dogs intact Tails only for us at Proctor House Rottweilers. Tails on little bears. Look at that boy. Let's get him back in the whooping box. Let you guys watch him play around, move around a little bit. And we will end the video. And as you guys can see, um, we went ahead and swapped out the whelping room area. Whelping box, I should say. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to get another whelping box. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make this the puppy playpen. I'm going to end up cutting the right side of this. And then adding the... Um, the other whelping box to it so that way we can get to potty training this boy right here but you guys can see he's a big old goofball this is the first time i actually seen him actually trying to chew uh, on the whelping box so usually that means it's time to uh, get you get a playpen going on but this guy's a goofball perfect personality he usually plays with uh we keep water bottles in here and stuff like that for him to run around and play with but he's just trying to get out and be next to me. What's up, buddy? <laughs> See if we can get him there. He's like, nope, I ain't coming. I'm chilling. Let me try to get there. There we go. Beautiful four week old Roddy pup. Achilles Von Proctor House. You guys can see that tail is wagging like crazy. I wish he'd get out of that corner. What are you doing, bud? I'm trying to get out of here. This is the first time I'm actually seeing the ball. So right now, he doesn't have any interest in it. His main focus is to try to get out of here and get with me, huh? I'm so impressed with this little puppy's head tight and body structure. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in to Proctor House Rottweilers. Make sure you guys like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at Proctor House Rottweilers. And make sure you guys do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell to turn all post notifications on, and we are out.